Hello, Namaskar, and welcome to Sikkim Chronicle. Well, there is a good news not just for the state of Sikkim but also for the country. These students of Paljan Namgil Girls Senior Secondary School of Gangtok has backed second position in the prestigious Robotic Asia event, which in fact was held recently at Shanghai in China. Ladies and gentlemen, with me are the team who in fact are back from uh, China. Let's have a brief conversation on the glorious achievement which they have brought for the state of Sikkim as well as for the country. Uh, may we have your introduction please first? Uh, hello, I am Ivan Dorji Lepcha. I am PGT Physics in Paljan Amgil Girls School and I am also I also have an additional uh, responsibility as an ATL in charge of our tinkering lab. Hello, I am Vernon Pradhan and I am a team member of LEGO Line Following. Hello everyone, I'm Shristika Sharma and I'm a team member of LEGO Line Following. Hello everyone, I'm Pachiva Lepcha and I'm the team captain of LEGO Line Following. Alright guys, uh, first and foremost, uh, many many congratulations and uh, this in fact is a great laurel for our state and for the country. Uh, Mr. Ivan, uh, could you explain us in brief what exactly is uh, Robotics Asia, how many countries had participated and how tough for the competition? Well, there were around 10 plus nations. Uh, most of them were from the Asia and the subcontinent. Uh, the tougher and uh, prominent teams were Japan, uh, China itself. Um, Iran also had a very uh, solid team. Uh, so toughness-wise, uh, yes, I would call it as uh, the toughest so far we have uh, uh, participated in. Uh, Programming-wise, uh, their mentoring-wise, their speed-wise, hardware-wise, uh, they were much advanced, but then we kept our cool and then we stuck to the basics. We gave our best and waited for the result and the result was uh, surprising and pleasing for right. us. Girls, uh, you guys qualified after like you know qualifying two rounds here in India. So what kind of differences uh, did you really find in the competition comparatively uh, to India and China? Uh, it was a vast difference and uh, it was like we did not uh, thought that it would be that tough and it was like really comparatively it was so different from what we have experienced in uh, in Delhi and Ahmedabad so it was like it was different because like we had uh, one mat only one mat in uh, Ahmedabad and Delhi and there 10 plus mats were lead on a parallel uh, a column and simultaneously every bots were performing so it was tough at the same how was your experience as of like you know i mean how did, how did you find the competition was it really difficult tough and the team spirit firstly i would like to thank madam principal for allowing us to participate in the event and also for supporting us and special thanks to our mentor our guide sir ivan who with his constant support have always encouraged and motivated us to dream big and to innovate new ideas so talking about China, the competition was very tough. In India, there was only one match where we could uh, run the boot and uh, keep an eye on them. Whereas in China, due to a large number of participants, there were different mats and we were not able to see who was doing what and who was performing where. So it was a chaotic moment. And we had very tough time to communicate with them and to adjust with the food. Right. What was the learning experience throughout the competition? So seeing uh, most of the participants, they were of 8 to 10 years of age and seeing them perform we got a lot of inspiration from them now we know how how should we design our bot so that it would the speed would increase so that it would perform well so looking at that i guess we got a lot of experience and we got a lot of lot of inspiration too because now we know not we don't know everything but we now have the idea of how to design our bot oh. Were you perplexed because uh, you are the main, like you know, guide for this, like you know, event, and you were guiding the students, and uh, we came to know that uh, you were, like you know, kept uh, separated from the uh, students. Did you had some that moment of uh, per perplexedness? Yeah, I was uh, worried a bit. I was uh, <clears throat> because uh, as soon as the organizers set us, set us apart, the coaches and the. Uh, other team members and the students had to be on a separate uh, area uh, so I, I, I just uh, could not keep my eyes out of them because they were like my kids and uh, we, we, we are a team so the moment we were separated 
I was worried that uh, they might get this uh, feeling that sorry they might get this feeling that uh, now we don't have a guidance but then uh, I had the confidence in my team and my students because uh, we have been working for the last four to five months and they also have this additional uh, experience in Delhi and Ahmedabad so I knew that they, they would be able to do and make changes wherever required and yes they kept their cool uh, they, uh, they, they could uh, improvise whatever was required there because I was far I could not really uh, get the message across but then they, they did well I tried to take uh, videos but then the, the zoom was not proper but then there are some videos hopefully I will give it to you so robotics India played a very important role as a catalyst like you know yes. for you guys any words of wisdom for them uh, special thanks to robotics India because uh, if they had not taken the initiative of organizing this event in India we would not have heard of it we would not uh, get an opportunity to participate so the Chiripal group the Happiness Resource Foundation in Ahmedabad, uh, Mr. Uh, Dhruv Patel, who was uh, uh, with us in China. Uh, and their whole encouraging uh, and uh, initiative taking uh, drive to, to encompass most states in India, this has, has uh, bore fruit. In, the, in, the, in, in a way, the results have come out. Right. Yes. Right now, uh, the team is preparing for the next event, and that is Robotics International, which in fact will be held in the end of November in uh, Tallinn, uh, Estonia. So, how is the preparation going on for that? Right now, we have not prepared anything, but we have learned, we, have got, we got inspired from Shanghai that we'll build up new tires and gears. We'll modify a robot. So right now we have not done any preparation. We will start soon. We'll start soon. So guys, let's not forget that Adult Tinkering Lab has played a very important role in your lives as of like without this like you know existence, uh, this would have not been possible. Uh, you guys are the post tinkers. Uh, they are post tinker club members. Post tinker club members. So anything you would like to say Adult Tinkering Lab? Uh, yes. Uh, I think the most important factor was establishment of a tinkering lab in our school because uh, before the advent of tinkering labs that was in 2017 we we did not have all this hardware and all this uh, material support that we have now and uh, the Atal Innovation Mission keeps pushing the labs and the ATL in charges with their constant emails to organize different events, workshops, to participate in competitions. So yes, the push from the government, the constant uh, motivation from Atal Innovation Mission, and of course, with, with the help of my colleagues here when I'm absent, and the enthusiastic students and motivated students, because I have, I've heard of labs where students don't come or ATL in charges are not there. Uh, that way, we have been lucky, the principal support the Atal Innovation Mission support, um, my input, plus the students' participation. So it's a teamwork. And uh, yes, Atal Innovation Mission, a special thanks from Paljana Mil Girls School. All right, girls, so any messages to your young generation, upcoming innovators? Yes, uh, as we have experienced and seen the children, small children competing with us uh, in Shanghai. So we would like to uh, encourage our young generation, the small children, to uh, kindly uh, come up with new ideas. And this is a, a blooming plat platform to you all. So please do participate in the thing in uh, robotics and all. I would like to encourage all the young children to participate in the field of robotics and come with a blooming idea so you can take help from us, so you can contact us. So we are ready to help you. So seeing all the small kids in China, Shanghai, I guess the, from our country also we have many more innovative minds so and this is the best platform where they can showcase their ideas, their talents, so I guess we all should encourage them and if they have any kind of problems the lab is always available for them like they can always come and do what they want uh, special thanks uh, to professor Tej Chingtam in SMIT 
the Atal Innovation Mission has uh, inducted him as our uh, mentor, mentor of change. So before they left for China, they also spent, uh, I think, a whole day with Professor in the Atal Incubation Center in SMIT and his inputs and his motivation. And we have also used uh, two of our color sensors from the lab. So uh, yes, uh, thanks to Professor Chintam and his lab. From our right. side. Uh, congratulations once again. A very, very laudable achievement there by the students of uh, Paljun Abgil Girls Senior Secondary School. You too can send your best wishes and congratulations messages in the inbox below. With my uh, camera person, Ashish Gurung, this is Nirmal reporting for Sikkim Chronicle.